Hello and welcome to 12.4, expected value, also called expectation. Expected value or expectation, a value of what can be expected over the long run from an experiment that is repeated multiple times. So expected value, E, is going to be the probability of the first thing happening times the value of that event happening, plus the probability of the second thing happening times the value of that event happening, plus the probability of the third thing happening times the value, and so on. P sub n is a probability, and A sub n is a value. Fair price means the amount to be paid will result in an expected value of zero. Fair price is the expected value plus the cost to play. So example one. If on a $1 bet, Paul Goldstein's expected value is 30 cents, what is Paul's expected value on a $5 bet? Well, 5 times 30 cents is $1.00. 50 cents. So if he's going to get back 30 cents from a dollar bet, he'll get back $1.50 from a $5 bet. In a proposed business venture, Stephanie Morrison estimates that there is a 60% chance she will make $80,000 and a 40% chance she will lose $20,000. Determine Stephanie's expected value. Her expected value is 0 0.6, so 60% is 0.6 in decimal form, times $80,000 plus 0.4 times negative $20,000. So that's going to be forty-eight thousand minus eight thousand so it's forty thousand dollars. That's her expected value for this venture. In July in Seattle, the grass grows half an inch a day on a sunny day and a quarter inch a day on a cloudy day. In Seattle in July, 75% of the days are sunny and 25% are cloudy. Determine the expected amount of grass growth on a typical day in July in Seattle. So our expected value is going to be 0.75 times half an inch because there's a 75% probability it'll be sunny and on sunny days it grows half an inch plus 0.25 times 1 quarter inch because there's a 25% probability it'll be cloudy and it grows a quarter inch on a cloudy day. That's going to be 0.4375 inches, which is the same thing as 7 sixteenths. Determine the expected total grass growth in the month of July in Seattle. So 31 days in July times the expected value per day. And we get 13.5625 inches. Feel free to pause that. I'm going to go on to the next page. One thousand raffle tickets are sold for one dollar each. One prize of eight hundred dollars is to be awarded. Rena Condos, Condos purchases one ticket. Determine her expected value. So her expected value is going to be one out of one thousand. She'll win the prize of eight. Well, actually, how much does she win? She paid a buck, gets back eight hundred. So after she paid herself back, she really is, is ahead by seven hundred ninety-nine dollars. So eight hundred minus the dollar is seven hundred ninety-nine dollars. That's that's the, the the prize money. This is what she's already paid. So she'll be ahead seven ninety-nine plus nine hundred ninety-nine over a thousand times negative one. That she could lose her dollar or or gain seven hundred ninety-nine. So 
So this is going to be negative 0.2. So negative 20 cents. You can expect to lose 20 cents. Determine the fair price for the ticket. Fair price is going to be negative 0.2 plus one dollar to give us eighty cents. Feel free to pause that. I'm going to go on here. According to Bristol Myers, I'm sorry, Bristol Mutual Life Insurance Mortalities Table, the probability that a 20-year-old woman will survive one year is 0.994 and the probability that she will die within one year is 0.006. If a 20-year-old woman buys a $10,000 one-year policy for $100, what does Bristol Mutual expect to gain or loss? So they make out if the person doesn't die. So they can expect a 0.994 times $100. That means she survived. they got to keep the money plus 0 0.006 times negative 9,900. Why negative 9,900? Well, one or 10,000, excuse me, minus 100 is 9,900. So if she dies, they only see, or they'll see a loss of $9,900 because they got her $100. So this is going to be $40. They can expect to gain $40 in this transaction. That'll do it for section 12.4, expected value. Send me your questions and we'll meet online. Thanks.